Welcome to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. Today, August the 21st, is the anniversary of the assassination of Senator Benigno Aquino Jr., husband of President Corazon C. Aquino, and father of President Benigno Simeon Aquino III. On the anniversary of his death, we will present 10 facts about his family history. Number 1. The Aquinos, though known to be of Tarlac, are of Indio, Ka Pam Paingon extraction. While the Aquinos have always been known to be from Tarlac, they originally came from the province of Pampanga. In fact, Concepcion, Tarlac, their recognized seat of power, used to be part of Pampanga. And while they have been members of the Principalia for many generations, their Aquino side has always been racially classified as Indio, although they have intermarried into mestizo Chinese families throughout the centuries. Number 2. The surname Aquino is derived from the place Aquino, Italy. The term Aquino is derived from the Latin Aquinum, taken from a derivative of aqua, meaning water. Number 3. The parents of Ninoy Aquino were related, albeit a bit distantly as third cousins. Ninoy's father, Benigno Aquino Sr., was the son of Servilino Aquino, son of Braulio Aquino, and son of Hilario Aquino. Hilario's brother, Damaso, had a son, Melanzio Aquino, who in turn was the father of Agapito Aquino, the father of Aurora Aquino, wife of Benigno Aquino, making Ninoy's parents third cousins. Number 4. One of the first Filipino lay doctors of philosophy and of laws, Dr. Don Mariano Henson, was an ancestor of Ninoy Aquino. Between the 18th to the 19th century, there were a few Spanish, but only two Filipino laymen, who graduated with a doctorate at the University of Santo Tomas. Dr. Don Mariano Henson, the first Filipino lay doctor of laws, was the great three times grandfather of Ninoy Aquino. Number 5. An ancestor of Ninoy Aquino founded the town of Angeles City, Pampanga. The name of Angeles, Pampanga is in honor of its patron saints, the Holy Guardian Angels, and the name of its founder, Don Angel Pantaleon de Miranda. Don Angel Pantaleon de Miranda was the four times great-grandfather of Ninoy Aquino. Number 6. Ninoy's grandmother was known as a fiery Pam Paingon woman who was famed as a swordswoman. The paternal grandmother of Ninoy Aquino, Guadalupe Kiyambao was famed as a fiery Pam Paingon woman who was known far and wide as a swordswoman. According to family lore, she would later die in the revolution, with her right hand holding a bolo, and her left hand holding a dagger. Number 7. The Aquinos are not Lacandula descendants. Some would claim that because of the Aquino family's Pampongan roots, they, too, are descended from Lacandula. However, there exists no proof of this. Until records are found to substantiate this claim, it is best to consider the Aquinos as not descendants of Lacandula. Number 8. The Aquino family has produced two female senators. The first woman to be re-elected senator, Eva Estrada Kala, was both the second cousin and step-cousin of Ninoy Aquino. Meanwhile, one of Ninoy's sisters, Tessie Aquino Areta, was also a former senator of the Philippines. Number 9. Ninoy had to fight for two elected positions, due to his age. At 22, Nino became the youngest elected mayor in the Philippines. However, he was disqualified from assuming office because he did not meet the required 23-year-old requirement to run for office. And then, in 1967, 
a fortnight before reaching the legal age of 35, Aquino became the Philippines' youngest senator. A controversy over whether he should be disqualified because of his age, however, only added to his growing fame. Number 10. A relative of Ninoy Aquino married a relative of Imelda Marcos. Aside from the fact that Ninoy dated Imelda, the Aquino and Romualdez families were already connected through marriage. The first cousin of Benigno Aquino, Sr., Pachita Aquino Gecko, married Speaker of the House Daniel Z. Romualdez, who was a first cousin of Imelda Romualdez Marcos. So that's it for today's video. We hope you learned something and enjoyed this presentation. Watch out for another video tomorrow at 8 a.m. Philippine Standard Time. Thank you for watching, and always stay safe. Goodbye.